Hi, I'm Freddie from Water Rangers, and this is the pH meter. Today, I'm going to show you how to calibrate and use the pH meter. Unlike the conductivity meter, you need to calibrate your pH meter every time before you go sampling. Okay, to start, we will need our calibration solutions. There will be three packs that you will need for this, with the pHs of 4, 7, and 10. On top of that, you will need three cups that can hold 250 milliliters of water and a big bottle of distilled water for the solutions. Once the calibration solutions are prepared, make sure to have some extra distilled water to rinse the meter. Now that the three solutions are prepared in front of us, we will power on the meter and press Cal. The letters Cal will also appear on the screen for one second before flashing four, seven, or 10. We will always start with the pH of seven for calibrations and then four or 10 for better accuracy. Now just dip the meter into the solution and wait. The meter will recognize the solution's pH and indicate it on the screen, in this case, seven. Once the meter reads a stable value, without pressing a single key, the meter will automatically save the value and return to the measurement screen. You will have to repeat this process for pHs four and 10. But make sure to rinse the meter with distilled water thoroughly between different calibration solutions to prevent contamination and miscalibration. Okay, the calibration is done. You can store the solutions up to three weeks in jars for future use. This will reduce the cost of calibration and waste and make sure to dispose the solution properly if needed. Okay, moving on, to take a measurement, let's first get a water sample. Make sure to rinse the sample cup three times before taking the sample. And then simply dip the meter into the water and wait for the number to appear on the screen and wait for it to stabilize before recording the number. You can even press the HLD or the hold button to freeze the reading so you can take notes without it changing. Since pH is uh, also affected by water temperature, you should also use this to record water temperature. After the measurement, make sure to rinse the probe with distilled water before the next measurement or before putting it away. And that's our pH meter in our Water Rangers test kit. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and I'll see you on the water.